Hey guys, this is Ruti and you're watching Digit. In today's video, we'll be unboxing the new IQ9 SE and we'll also run a game or two of BGMI and give you the lowdown on the performance in game. Before we get started, hit the subscribe button and smash like. So, let's get started. First of all, we have some of the documentation and the SIM ejector tool. Here's the quick start guide and the warranty information. This is the phone. We'll come back to it later. You've also got a silicone case inside the box. In here, you have the charging cable, which is a USB type A to type C. You have a dongle, which is a USB type C to 3.5 mm. And finally, you have the 66 watt power brick. So that's about it for what we get in the box. Let's take a look at the phone. So now if you look at the back, it's got a nice matte finish with a shimmer. And you also have the triple camera array alongside the flash. And on the front, you have the punch hole selfie camera cutout. Now that we've powered on the device and set it up, let's look at it. So first of all, we have an in-display fingerprint sensor right here. Seems to be pretty decently snappy. The buttons are on the side and they're pretty clicky and tactile. You have the volume buttons and the power button. And at the back, you have the finish as we spoke about before. You have plastic sides here. And at the bottom, you have the USB Type-C charging port, the SIM tray, as well as the speaker. So now let's get right into installing BGMI and running the gaming test. So now we've loaded up GameBench as well as BGMI on the phone. Let's turn on GameBench and start recording in BGMI. As you can see, it's going to provide us with an overlay right here. And you can see the frame rate on the top. So right now we have smooth graphics and extreme frame rate. Let's load up a quick game and see how it performs. So now we've started an 8v8 deathmatch. As you can see on top, you can see the frame rates. Let's get right into it. Right now it's showing us 60 and 61 frame rates. There are some stutters in the middle but not a lot at all you can see that it's going down and again peaking at 60 which is pretty good gameplay feels smooth okay the game has booted up now so let's go we're recording this entire game in game bench so at the end of the game we can basically see the stats and the stability oh okay let's get the AKM and the M4 Oh, oh, oh. So now we're going to fast forward you through the game and then at the end we'll bring you back and show you the stats. Well, we're doing really badly at the game right now, but at least we're getting some important benchmark numbers. So that's good. From what we've noticed so far, the phone is getting slightly toasty on the front end so you may notice that when you're gaming but everything is pretty smooth so far there are no jitters like sudden jitters or lags which is great and you can see that the FPS counter is pretty stable as well we did end up winning now let's move over to game bench to see how the phone performed there you go as you can see, the session time was around 7 minutes and 47 seconds. And you can see the median FPS is 60, which is really good. And the percentage of frames around medium FPS was 87%, which is decent as well. The phone got a little bit toasty, but it was very smooth playing it. We were of course playing in, I will show you the graphics settings right now. So we were playing in smooth graphics and extreme frame rate. You can also go all the way up to Ultra HD graphics and Ultra frame rate or low and then you can just toggle between these. UHD of course is coming soon and you can basically choose any of this to have pretty smooth gameplay but we've found that the best is obviously smooth and extreme. And with all of that out of the way, we've come to the end of this video. 
Don't forget to like and share the video if you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.